In the elevator scene, oh. there where this woman gets strangled in the... In that elevator? Yeah, an artist gets, oh. a woman gets strangled in the elevator. <laughs> Where if you can find that footage? Oh, sure Am I filming? Yeah. Uh, I have a project for this class I'm taking. <laughs> and I gotta record something for it. So I decided to record. Google the elevator. No, not something random. Just, I don't know, like an event in life. It's called Cinema Verite, in which you just capture something and, and you, just, you just let it flow. Do you steal from other promoters? Uh, of course, <laughs> we all do. Uh, I, I like electric yes. yes. Well, this is San Francisco Open Studios, and every year there's always like different theories while it, why it's good or why it's not good, and it can have like if it's sunny, but there's the bluegrass festival going on, it'll be really good, but if it's cold and it's Fleet Week, it'll be really bad. Or if the Giants are in the World Series and it's like partially cloudy, you'll probably sell a lot of art. And so this year, there are no big events going on and it's cloudy and it's going okay. Uh, uh, how was yesterday? Yesterday was good. Um, I, I sold a couple nice pieces. They're gone though, you can't see them. Can't see any of them. Oh, actually, I have a, a refrigerator magnet of. I sold the uh, very famous piece called the uh, Ferris wheel snail. Ooh, I don't think I've seen that one before. No, they're very rare. Um, th I think they're actually extinct. The Ferris, the original Ferris wheel snail. So it's based on like a real snail. Uh, or the, the idea of a, a a species that may have existed at one time. Mm, for how much did you sell it? Um, a lot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, my experience in Project Arto Open Studios has been great. Yeah. It's um, really important for the artists that live here uh, to be able to show the work and uh, having the opportunity to open the building and have people coming into your space, into your home. Sometimes it's a challenge because you know you have people that you don't know in your home, but at the same time, it's a great experience because you get to know all types of people from art students to art lovers to galleries, just to like, you know, regular people from the community. And it's just, you know, it's, it's a very important event for Open Air Toe. And I think it's very important that artists that live here participate. I wish they were more doors open, but it is a great place to come because you don't have to just drive around, get out of your car and see one artist. At this building you can see at least 20 to 30 artists, uh, you know, with one list. So, yeah. You know, and so there's Bernie, that's East Burn Rock, his own drums over there. And uh, we're playing today different uh, instruments and doing different presentations of uh, improvisations, different improvisational riffs, you might say. And we just had a wonderful performance of uh, Bijou and myself, Bijou O'Keefe, who came in and danced. And uh, you, uh, a soundtrack that we had by Anton Orto, who is the uh, is a wonderful avant-garde playwright, French play, playwright, poet, you know, uh, that lived back in the 20s and 30s, uh, who strived to move out of the, the three-dimensional body space into a more four-dimensional space, uh, four, fourth-dimensional space of consciousness, which is called the shamanic level of consciousness. And so I was doing double horns and flute, and she was doing this really wonderful uh, 
you know, a breakthrough kind of energy, you know, to break through some of your inhibitions and to open yourself up to this larger dimensionality, you know. So that's what, and um, <coughs> so, yeah, you know, like in this, that panel, this panel over here is my, this is my yoga panel. These are chakras. The, uh, I call it the uh, rainbow body of consciousness. And this is the shadow speaks. Shadow speaks is the uh, uh, melting of frozen repressions. Those are the frozen repressions melting into the sea of consciousness and releasing myself from repressed anger. Right here, repressed anger. This is supposed to be touched, by the way. You put your hand on it, and really? I'm blind. I can read this in, in uh, Braille. And because Ooh. I want, this is like a, a, a transmission of energy through the, through the tactile dimension, a touch. And they're made to that, so, you know, uh, in our culture, we're, we're discouraged to touch anything. Right. But these are, uh, I'm trying to communicate uh, these deep <laughs> emotions through the human touch. Wow. And we have this big theater upstairs that we've been here in Project Arto since 1941. We founded the theater based on the philosophy and teachings of Anton Arto. And... Uh, and so that theater space was initially called Arto Theater, or Theater Arto. And, uh, and, and so we did all of our experimental theater up there. It's a huge space that's actually uh, has been at the core of our organization here. We have 70 studios in Project Arto. We're an artist collective, and we're a 501c3 nonprofit. So, you know. I own the space, but I don't own it like in the sense that I'm going to pay a million dollars for this space. You know? I, mean, I own it because I paid the fixtures. I bought the fixtures and got it all together on that level with the city. They came city, you know, worked with us for 10 years, man, so we could build legal facilities in the in the building uh, so that we could live and work here in a safe and secure environment that this is uh, 2013, and we're still here, and I'm still here. Bernie's still here, <laughs> and so it gives me great pleasure to continue being here. And what we'll do right now, we'll go ahead and we'll we'll, we'll engage with some uh, music making. All right. On, on the drum. 